Again, I am trying to learn something that is supposed to be so incredibly easy that even an idiot can do it, but I can't do it. Um, I'm trying to add uh, section breaks so that I can put different numbers in different sections of the manuscript or book. Uh, the first couple of pages aren't supposed to have uh, uh, regular numbers. They're like uh, Roman numeral numbers for the, the dedication pages, the, all that kind of stuff. So anyway, I've spent probably an hour and a half trying to do something that, according to the tutorials, should be incredibly easy. So let's try to find out what they're not telling me that's making it so hard. This is one of the mistakes these guys have been telling us. Whenever you add a, a break, what they tell you to do is, well, first thing you should do is go back and, and go to home and make sure that you have your um, the thing there turned on because without it, you can't see any page breaks or anything. You know, see, there's just nothing on it. Um, but if you hit that uh, button there, it puts all these symbols. And that lets you know where a paragraph is or where the breaks are, page breaks, stuff like that. Okay, but what I want to do, what they tell you to do is come to the end and put a page break there. Well, if you do that, it clicks in front of the paragraph. What I've been doing wrong is trying to get in front of it. And then when I come over here, I go to page layouts, and then I come over to breaks and hit the tab, pull down tab. And then they've been telling me to go to next page break. Well, you don't want to do that because what that does, that sticks a whole other page in there. Since the thing has already been written, I don't want to stick a whole other page in there. So what they mean to tell you is go to continuous. And what that does, it puts a break in the page you have now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it at the end of the page so that it will insert in the right spot. So I go to continuous page. Notice here I have one, two paragraphs and a third one before my title on my next page. Now, I don't want this to move over here. So anyway, I'm over here in front of the, the, the mark, the paragraph mark, and then I go to my page break again, and I come down to continuous, click that, and then let's see what happened. It just moved up, went up a spot, which that's not where I wanted it. I, I wanted it to stay at the bottom. I don't want it some extra spot there. Because uh, that's probably going to throw all kinds of wrenches into it. So I'm going to have to come over here and either hit undo or in front of it I can hit that and hit delete. Okay, so I've decided well maybe I should put it in front of the paragraph on the preview on the next page. In front of the paragraph marker there. Go to page break. Uh, come down continuous. And over here it put my break at the bottom which is exactly where I wanted it. Uh, all the tutorials I've watched so far have left that very important part out. I did the same thing earlier, right after my uh, title page. I, I have a, the, t the blank piece of paper like you normally see in a book and, at the front. And then you know, the second page in is my title page. And then I have the copyright page. And I have a section break continuous at the end of that. Although I can see here I had the same problem I made earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and fix this right now. I'm going to go ahead and delete this and come back over to the in front of the next one and come up to breaks again continuous and voila it's where it's supposed to be